another week, another vlog. Not only am I really enjoying putting these vlogs together, but I'm also loving the renewed motivation I have for sketching my life and documenting it in my sketches. Even though I've been putting together summaries of my week's worth of sketches on my blog for the last year or so, uh, under the last week series, I'm finding that the additional challenge of putting a video together is translating into an additional challenge of sketching more. So let's get going and see what I got up to this week. Okay, here we go. Where am I up to my sketchbook? Well, about two thirds the way through so that's good so this is where we were last week uh monday and sunday and monday i was sick with a uh, cold so all i did was a very loose uh, cup of tea sketch while the ginger tea and i made a comment about sketching trees more and scheduling time to sketch so on tuesday i took a break in the afternoon specifically to sketch one of the jacaranda trees didn't quite get the uh, color of the jacaranda tree right if someone knows a perfect pigment mix to get the right uh, jacaranda please let me know i'm not sure i have the right pigments in my palette to get the right color but that was good enough and lots of fun some people might have seen on instagram that i decided to set up a grid for this week for my latte sketches so there weren't uh, spread out over the week i quite liked containing that so each day i did a slightly different treatment uh, the first day was a, a thin line continuous line a bit of paint second day was all watercolor pencil uh, thursday was using my water brush and also my sailor food a nib and friday was just big watery splash and on tuesday night i sat down to have a bit of fun and do a little bit of experiment which i say uh, I wrote it seems like years since I've done something like this uh, and I was using uh, watercolor sticks by Daniel Smith which Daniel Smith very kindly sent to me to experiment with so there's a bit of paint here a bit of color um, from the sticks and some watercolor looks quite interesting texture it was quite a lot of fun on Wednesday I had a very busy day out and about uh, and in the afternoon I stopped uh, at a cafe which is actually a coffee shop in the same space where the um, T2 tea room used to be uh, for those of you who followed me for many years you'll know how important that um, tea house was for me and I get very uh, a bit emotional when I'm when I'm there now because the space is the same and I spent so many hours there and sketched it 100 or so times and now it's like this coffee shop anyway this is a completely unplanned sketch I just started drawing um, so composition wise it was like not planned just completely end of the day processing some thoughts from the day uh, while I was drinking my coffee and then on Thursday, I didn't actually sketch for myself during the day, but I did this sketch of my support board, which I needed to use for an article that I was writing about it. I'm constantly mixing up the way I work. Uh, for this sketch, I wanted to get the proportions fairly correct. So I started with a few pencil set up lines first and then drew in ink before adding the watercolor last. Uh, you will notice that I was moving the board while I was sketching, lifting the sketchbook up, uh, just to see more clearly what I was sketching. And I actually like sketching a slightly moving subject because it results in a more lively sketch. And then I actually use the support board for adding the paint. Uh, and then pull my ruler out to get the measurements uh, and then anyway, that's my sketch on Friday I decided that I wanted to do a little bit more play with those watercolor uh, sticks so mine are actually quite hard um, which is really nice I know some other people have um, problems with them being too soft mine are very hard and I was working into the paper quite a bit uh, which actually went through onto the next um, side which I'll show you in a minute this is just one of the triumph arches in Rome Constantine Arch of Constantine I think anyway I just um, always go to some classical architecture when I want to play and experiment with uh, new materials so 
I don't know if you can see but just here and actually under here and this little mark here is actually the result of working through the paper. So this alpha paper is really robust except if you really scrub into uh, the paper while it's wet uh, with water soluble tools and that's the only time it ever happened so I um, just stuck a sticker over the area that had actually um, bled through and um, just did a quick teacup sketch because I'm drinking some fancy tea and then on Saturday evening I went and I had dinner with some friends and I had actually decided beforehand that I would sketch and film if I could so here's some rough footage of my sketching and eating at the same time as chatting and being part of the conversation I think my goal for this type of sketching is to get something on the page and not to produce a masterpiece if I was trying to achieve a really good sketch I would have to sacrifice my attentions to the conversation and to my friends so what I do instead is go into reflex sketching mode and I'm really hardly thinking about my sketching at all I'm just relying on the hours and hours of practice and hoping for the best there's no doubt that I will forget the incredible stories that my friend was um, telling us about her recent mission trip to Africa but I feel like I've got a bit of a special record because I was sketching somehow a lot of the things that happened that night are encoded into my sketch so that's why I like when I can to do some sketch to remind myself uh, of uh, dinner together and then it was time for cake uh, so I did a little bit of footage of getting the cake ready to eat and getting mint from the garden and then sitting down and sketching and look I was really part of the conversation now so my sketch is even uh, more loose than my dinner sketch but I'm glad I have a little record of it uh, and that's really where I'm up to so another week another good week uh, bit of sketching a bit more things and I want to do more in this coming week so there you have it this week the theme that has emerged is the idea of planned versus spontaneous sketching I have planned a number of sketching sessions where I wanted to experiment with my new Daniel Smith watercolor sticks I also plan to sketch my support board for the article I wrote last week and I intentionally drew a grid to constrain my latte sketches and finally I mentally prepared for sketching during dinner with my friends on Saturday night but at the same time I only planned to start each of these sketches and once I had begun I let the sketch take on its own life and I worked very spontaneously in this way it sums up my general approach to sketching I'm always thinking about sketching and looking for opportunities to do so but when I'm in the moment and sketching I let go and just go with the flow so for me working in my sketchbook is all about having a place to be spontaneous and I never plan well hardly ever plan doing thumbnails or thinking about compositional values before I start but I suppose that's a subject for another video uh, but if you want to um, read some of my thoughts I'll include a link below to an article so what about you do you have a preference for planning your sketches or do you prefer just to work spontaneously i'd love to hear from you so please leave me a comment below until next time have fun and keep sketching